the key points is the primary endpoint of that clarinet forte study was uh, to look in the median PFS in progressive disease patients. And um, in these two cohorts, uh, we have of course different median PFS. It was 8.3 months in the uh, Midgut cohort, um, but it was um, 5.6 months um, in the pancreatic cohort. Um, if you however look at the different KI-67 threshold, and that's always a key question, which patient should we select for somatostatin analog treatment? Those with rather lower KI-67, what is the perfect fit for that? And many other aspects are still under consideration and not fully understood. But KI-67 is the most prominent prognostic factor. So and this also relates with the duration of response. So if you look at uh, KI-67 threshold of um, 10%, consistent to the clarinet profile, there the cutoff threshold was 10%. Patients with higher than 10% KI-67 could not be enrolled. Then we can say the median PFS is also eight months, similar to the Midgut cohort and the pancreatic cohort. So why is that meaningful? If you consider most of these patients had been for a long time already on the standard dose of lanolatide. So in median, patients with pancreatic net had been treated for 1.8 years on lanolatide standard dose and in the Midgut cohort, 1.3 years. So then to achieve um, still a median PFS of uh, around eight months or above that in the Midgut cohort, I think is clinically meaningful. And particularly if you look at the pancreatic cohort for those with a lower than 10% KI-67 threshold, we did not find any differences between 2%, uh, 5% thresholds. So that was quite similar outcome for, for the median PFS.